Hello, my soccer universe. Uh, the quarterfinals of the Asian Cup actually did it, but that's quite some action. We have one surprise team, but that was already guaranteed in the semis. And uh, we had two big clashes that went a little bit weird, I have to say. And Qatar surprisingly having some struggle at their hands, but this is usually one thing the champions are made of. I'm still, don't sleep on Qatar, really don't sleep on Qatar in that one. But to me, the main story is again, South Korea. I uh, remember when I said um, after the group stage, they have quite the gauntlet ahead with Saudi Arabia and then having to face Australia and, and so on. Well, they ran that gauntlet. The schedule is easing up for them because now they have a semifinal against Jordan. Should not be underestimated, but it's Jordan and it's not Australia or Saudi Arabia who are known quantities and they did so again in incredible fashion by salvaging themselves in the last minute the never say die attitude of south korea uh, is also championship material although i don't think it can hold on for all that long and we also have the big favorites are out but iran the team that i'm wearing have been quite good for that one they really 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 surprised me so let's briefly review the games. I only could watch highlights because, you know, if this is on a Friday evening where I'm going to a stadium and have to work and then on the other day there is some family commitments and the kickoff times are kind of a lunchtime early afternoon and then some of the games I actually was hoping to see Qatar, Uzbekistan. Uh, it's not shown live unless I buy another subscription. I already have two subscriptions to watch live uh, soccer. So highlights it is and highlights is what i'm giving you here as well i have to say the asian cup highlights are not that that bad although they are focusing too much on in my opinion on um uh, you know the lineups and and and, and so on but they, but they're actually overall well done you get a real feel for the game as well so let's start with the Duel of the underdogs, Friday lunchtime, Jordan winning it 1-0 and they were really good for the video. I mean, Tajikistan had maybe a chance to get an equal to ahead, but Jordan definitely created more chances. And they got the winning goal th uh, from a corner kick where I think it's a header onto, onto the chest of Kanonov from a short range. Takes a deflection. I mean, at first it looks weird why is the goalie not all reacting, but the goalie is going to hold to it as well because he sees the header is coming. He's went and dang and goes from the chest in. As I said, I think overall Jordan were good for the win. They were better. The story of Tajikistan ends. I mean, this is their maiden voyage, if you would like, uh, through the Asian Cup. And making a quarterfinal is quite an achievement. Um, maybe they expanded themselves too much early on. And then, as I said, the big one. Uh, could not watch the one. Would, would have loved to watch that, that one. It was a game where, uh, very similar to the Saudi Arabia game, uh, South Korea maybe had a little bit more possession in the first half. However, the goal falls to uh, Australia, who had already good, good chance before, good win, scoring in the 42nd minute, the 1 0. And then in the second half, honestly, there was not too much coming from South Korea for most of them. Not unlike against Saudi Arabia, where they lay late on her head, had had a real storm. This took quite, quite a while and the tactic of Australia was to stay started there and then make uh, quick attacks and they probably should, should have scored a second one. I mean, there was one uh, free header uh, for, with an open net that went wide. Uh, if Australia makes the 2 2 nil, it's done and dusted. Uh, again, overtime, 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 and this is exactly what helped uh, South Korea. This, this is center as well. Uh, they had a chance, I think, uh, assisted by Son and Hwang Hee Chan. So Son is being brought down the box, converts the penalty in the 96th minute, and it goes to overtime. And South Korea, South Korea, the zombie team of this Asian Cup. You need to kill them once, twice, three times, four times, and and so on, and and and, and so on. And then they get the winner through a brilliant uh, Son free kick. Um, cannot say much about that. And given on that, I think they then deserved it. Uh, O'Neill got sent out of a rough tackle ju uh, just at the halftime break uh, in overtime. And South Korea move on. And will Jürgen Klinsmann really... I mean, if he does that, doesn't win this one, I'm not sure he can continue on because there's a whole lot of pressure on him on the other side. With this attitude, they might as well do it. Uh, so this was a relatively tight one that really could have swung either way. Not so for Iran against Japan. This was all Iran. 
Yes, Japan had the lead through Morita in the 28th minute, but this came totally out, out, out of nowhere. And even with Meditarami missing, Iran looked really, really good. Maybe even more Lila with Mohebi, Azmoon, and especially Ali Reza Yahan uh, They really uh, gave some pressure to uh, Japan, and this was a brilliant performance. In this form, I mean, I said Qatar uh, and South Korea show in some ways some championship material over, overall. Uh, by you know the resolve, but by the pure brilliance of, of, of the squad, I think this is Iran's to lose in that in, in that sense. The problem with Iran is that they're not converting the chances. Well, this time Sardar's moon. I was a, a really ni nice move to get get, get equalizer through uh, uh, Ali Reza as moon and then Mohebi uh, making one one in the fifth 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 uh, as moon then scored the winner in with with a dribble seemingly, but uh, I think there was an offside before. And then very late on, they get a penalty <laughs> like uh, Korea. They get a the penalty, they don't have to go to overtime and they win it through an Ali Reza uh penalty in the 96th minute. But uh, Iran really, really impressive uh, in that one. And then Qatar against Uzbekistan was a very, very even game. Um, that uh, where um, Qatar took the lead through a really weird on 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 on, on call. I, th I think it was a, a FIFA who made the cross in. I'm I'm, I'm wrong. Uh, it was from very acute angle, but uh, it, it takes a deflection of Yusupov and then goes into the net. But uh, almost an impossible angle. I mean, can, you can only go with a deflection in, in there. Goalie also had a little bit the in the logo, logo, but you could you, you couldn't expect it there. Uh, so that kind of unlocked the game, and then for the next 30 minutes, Uzbekistan were the better team and created chances and get the deserved equalizer through Ham, uh, Hamrobekov in the 59th minute. However, then they fall a little bit back again, and the game died. That, that, that's out. Um, it was again then uh, Afif who had a brilliant chance right at the death of regulation that just curled past the post but uh this would, would, would have been a great great winner goes all the all the way to penalties and in penalties this was a weird penalty shooter i mean the first two are converted then um ashur matovs is saved but ali almo is former last player also sees his save umarov makes it a uh, 2-1 for Uzbekistan, and then uh, ali puts it over the bar However, uh, the next two Uzbek penalties are also saved, and so Pedro Miguel can slot it home to give Qatar the winning penalty. Qatar move on to the next round. And so we have now in the semifinals Jordan meeting South Korea, and we also have Iran meeting Qatar, the second one probably the, uh, the slightly tight, tight, tight one. Uh, although the way Iran played, cool, but Qatar are the reigning champions. And they're playing at home, so I wouldn't discount that. Uh, my model projects a South Korea against Iran final, where Iran are slight favorites overall. I think from the quality of the squad, I would agree with that. Uh, the games are played on Tuesday and on Wednesday, so uh, and at times where I hopefully can watch, and there's also no intersection with the Asian Cup, so looking forward to hopefully see some of the action there, otherwise it will still be highlights. But in, 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 in any case, since I only saw highlights, please feel free to fill me in on what you th um, thought about the games of the Asian Cup. Um, anything, I'm, you're very welcome to add. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!